Um, well done on, on returning to the dividend. To what extent is this a watershed moment where I would say to myself that we end the story in talking about Anglo-American as being in survival mode and I transfer my expression to that of a CEO who's now reset and ready for expansion? Well, I'd like to think that uh, the foundations, or there's a recognition of the foundations we've created. I'm always a bit cautious about talking on expansion. I think we've got to be very conscious of making sure we deliver free cash flow. It's got to be sustainable. We can grow off the base we've created, but at the same time, we've got to deliver returns on capital. For me, one of the most important numbers in our results is the 18% return on capital employed. That was the milestone number, or the 15% return was the milestone number we talked about in 2013. That's critical. It's not just about cash flow, it's how you deliver those cash flows that matter. Let's talk a little bit more about that, because obviously you, you were, you were, you are a man on a mission to, to, to restructure Anglo-American. So what comes next? Because you had this little bit of reprieve, haven't you, in terms of the commodity cycle, Mark? You've had an uplift in yeah. iron ore, you've had a couple of different things going on there. W what comes next to perpetuate that story in the restructure? I think the key thing we've learnt in the last two or three years is you've got to get the engine working properly. So we've got the operations improving. In Anglo-American, every individual in the business is now delivering 70% more product each day, and that's under, underpinned the cost reduction, the improvement in the performance right across the business. We've still got a long way to go in terms of improvement. I think that's very important. Secondly, we've identified a lot of small-scale, very small-scale capital projects with very rapid returns. We've got to make sure we continue to enhance and improve the business, and we've got some real step-out opportunities. So having a portfolio where you've got options to make the right calls is absolutely critical. And part of that portfolio, Mark, obviously, is not just the products within the Anglo, but also Comba, which is, which is part of the story. They had good results yesterday, and I suppose the question that I have for you there is that I, th I think your CEO there, uh, cracking man, he, he calls the iron ore very well. One or two analysts are saying the market's in jackal and hide uh, mode. But with an iron fork, with iron ore forecast to come down again, talk to me through the sustainability for Kumba. Look, I think... Timber and the team have done a great job. We changed the mine design, we've got our cost down. He's still got a lot more work to do on the cost front, but I think he's positioned the business well. We are a niche quality producer. So we will always struggle on a dollar for dollar basis with to compete with the Pilbara assets given the nature of the ore body. But what we can do is we can be a lot smarter in the way we operate, both in terms of the cost and competitive position the markets we pitch into and the prices we realise. And that's how we're going to get smarter and continue the journey. And we've got some good ideas on technology which we think will give us another step improvement across the business. So you've got to work every angle to make sure you're generating sustainable cash. Mark, is part of the, part of the angle, could part of the angle be that you would sell Kumba if the price was right in the next couple of years? Could that be part of the strategy? Look, today we're really pleased with where we've come from with Kumba. In South Africa, we've restructured a number of our businesses and now we've really established competitive positions. We'd be happy to keep Kumba in the portfolio for the long term. However, in the end, we've got to keep an eye on the policy frameworks that the South Africans present to the market and we'll make our decisions based on how those conversations go over the next 12 to 18 months. So. Happy to stay where we are and continue to improve. If things are more difficult or we have to consider other options, we'll do that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves.